that I would go ahead and do an at-home facial routine tonight. So here I am in my bathroom this evening. It's a Saturday night. Um, obviously, we're not going out anywhere. So the best thing I can think to do is to come in the bathroom and give my skin a bit of a treat. Um, so I'm starting off with the Neil Jard uh, Calendula Cleanser. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that into my palms. And I'm just going to work that in all over. Um, this one, I do take it over my eyes um, to remove my eye makeup, which is absolutely fine because this is quite good for sensitive skin and sensitive areas. However, if you do have particularly sensitive eyes, I would recommend the um, eye makeup remover. Um, but like I say, I find it absolutely fine to go over my eyes. Working that in all over and really working that into my eyelashes, and you'll see that starts to remove my mascara that I've got on as well. Okay, and then I just go in once I sort of feel like I've really worked that in a bit. I use a um, sort of facial mitt and I just usually run that under the hot tap just to make that nice and warm. And I use that just to remove that cleanser, which is really, really quick and easy to do. And I always go back in for a second cleanse, so I do that twice. Um, the first cleanse removes your makeup, and then the second cleanse is more about cleaning the, your pores and your skin a little bit more. So it is important to do it twice. and take it down onto your neck as well. And again, just remove that with your mitt or your flannel, whichever you use at home. I find this better than trying to use cotton pads and obviously it's a lot more environmentally friendly as well because you can just pop these in the washing machine and reuse them. Right, then I'm going to go in with the facial polish. I'm using the rehydrating rose facial polish because my skin tends to be slightly on the drier side. Um, if you've got a more oily skin, then I'd recommend the purifying Parma Rosa facial polish instead. I'm just working that all round. Pay particular attention to places like your chin, around your nose, um, avoiding your eye area, which will be more sensitive. And this ideally is a step that you do um, perhaps twice a week. But that's enough. Okay. Rinse that off my hands. And then again, just go back in with the facial mitt and remove that. Then I'm going in just with a towel just to block my skin dry. And then at this point you want to use your toner. Um, so I've already got mine ready, I've just popped a little bit onto um, some cotton pads. And you just want to work that then all over. This will make sure that you've taken off all the cleanser and it's going to reset the pH of your skin to make sure it's nice and balanced. Your skin will naturally go back to the correct pH, um, but what you'll find is it will take quite a few hours for it to go back to the normal pH. So during that time, your skin's having to work quite hard to get back to the right um, balance. Whereas if you do this step, it's going to do it instantly for you. Um, and you'll see, even though I've done a really good cleanse, there's still a teeny little bit of makeup that's come off on that. So I know now I'm completely clean, it's taken everything off. Um, I like to then use the Rehydrating Rose Facial Polish. Um, 
not facial polish, facial oil. <laughs> um, and just a couple of drops of this. These bottles last absolutely ages. So this is, I think it's 30 mils. Um, and it does last a really, 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 really long time. Um, you just use the pipette and it just comes out like a little dropper. This smells incredible. So this is a step certainly for whenever you feel like you need to give your skin an extra boost. Um, and ideally at night time. Um, I just find it so relaxing to put onto your skin. It's absolutely lovely. Um, just smells amazing. Um, there are different types of facial oils depending on your skin type. Um, so if you do want more information, just drop me a message and I can um, talk to you more about your skin. Or have a look at my link for my Neil Jard website as well because that will give you um, a lot more information about the products as well. Always just breathe this in because it does instantly relax you as well. Um, oh, it's just so lovely. Um, just work that all in really. Um, you don't want to feel like you've got loads on your skin and you can see it's just a very fine layer of that oil left on my skin. Perhaps what I'll do another night for you is um, a bit of a massage routine that you could do yourself at home because obviously in your facials with me in the salon we normally incorporate quite a long face massage I normally spend about 20 minutes working on your face all around your eyes up into your head and your sort of forehead area and we work it all the way down here and around your shoulders um, as well so I normally spend a good 20 minutes on that um, so there are some quite easy techniques that you could replicate and do at home as well um, to help relieve stress and tension but also that you could do on a partner so maybe what I'll do is show you those maybe on my partner so you can see um, how you could do that to each other at home um, so maybe I can do that another night but I think tonight I'm just going to pop it on that's already starting to sink in but you can just see it's, it's a little bit on the surface which is nice um, I'm going to follow that up with the eye cream. I'm using the rose again because my skin can be slightly dehydrated and a bit on the dry side. So this is the rehydrating rose eye cream, which is great for everyday use. And just a couple of pumps of that and just working it all around the eye area. Now this is quite important because a lot of people say to me, how do you actually use an eye cream? Um, all you need to do is put it in a big circle like this. You do not need to be rubbing it over your eyelids or be rubbing it underneath your eye. You just need a small amount. It really is just maybe two pumps, rub it between your fingertips and then do it in a big circle. It will move where you need it. There is no need to be trying to put it everywhere you think you need it around your eyes because you will just irritate your actual eye. Um, so that's all you need to do. And that's sinking in almost straight away. I'm then going to use my Frankincense Hydrating Cream, which is a really quite nice, rich texture. This is for all skin types, but I really like the texture of this. Um, I really like the Frankincense in it as well. So I'm just going to pop that on all over. If you prefer a lighter texture, there are lots of other lotions that we do as well. So again just depending on your skin type but um oh this one's lovely if you like something slightly richer for night time again this is a good choice okay i always rub in just the excess into my hands as well because i think it's always nice to do that and then i'm just finishing off with tonight the um, lip balm, which is beautiful, and I'm going to pop that all over. That's it. So I'm pretty much ready for bed. Um, I think it's only about half past nine on a Saturday night, but I'm more than happy to go and get into bed. <laughs> um, so I, hopefully that helps a little bit about what to do and a few little tips here and there. I did also film quite a while ago now, it's probably at least a year ago, um, another video using some different products um, 
some still the Neil Jar products but some different ones in the range so I might sort of repost that again as well I look a bit different my hair is a bit shorter um so it is I think a good year ago it may even be longer than that that I filmed that one but I will probably pop that up because that may be useful as well um do let me know if you have any questions um again I am able to order products and deliver them to your doorstep if there is anything you'd like to purchase to use at home, then I would really appreciate you doing that with me. Um, I can earn a little bit of commission, which is always great, um, rather than you ordering straight through the Neil Jard website. Um, any other questions, let me know. Other than that, good night everybody, and I'll see you another time. Bye bye.